my visual impairment um, came about when I was born um, and I was born with cataracts. It's not very common, it's about 150,000 people will be born with both eyes having cataracts as a baby. Cataracts is like, a, if you were to look through a poly pocket and your vision would be blurred, that's like the start of it and basically it just deteriorates until you can't see anything if you leave them long enough. My sight varies from moment to moment basically. Um, when I'm sitting in a classroom I sit near the front um, and I'll be able to see one piece of the board at a time. If you put a cardboard box around your head it would be like seeing my vision because I just see a little box nothing everything else around it is blurred um, and at times there's even like a blur down the middle so my two like images that my eyes are getting don't match up <laughs> when the light suddenly changes or when I'm walking from like the outside to inside um, it'll take my eyes a couple of minutes to adjust because my pupils and irises are fused together so they don't dilate like normal pupils to adjust really quickly to light changes um, and at times it's going to even mean minutes without being able to see. <laughs> my emotions are very strained with it. Um, sometimes I can completely forget about it and be very happy and everything will be fine and then suddenly I'll either miss something that's happened around me or I won't be able to go places with my friends because my eyes are too tired then I feel a little bit down because I've missed out on something or I can't make my own dinner so I'll feel impatient that I can't do stuff on my own and it's just hard at times. The biggest challenge I have faced because of my visual impairment would be moving from primary to post-primary education. Um, simply because it was, it's a shock to anybody, the workload. And then you put on a visual impairment and it's so tiring and you go to a longer school day. And so therefore your eyes are more tired already. And then the time you get home, and then you have to start thinking about homework and I'm better doing work in natural light and then by the time you get home it's not natural light anymore and it's harder to see the pages and then increase of computer work. I'd always stayed well clear of using a computer um, because it was just so draining. I am um, sorry to use a long cane and get training with it because I wanted to be able to move quite more independently on my own and um, to do this I needed some sort of tool to help me get down the street safely because one of my biggest fears was walking on my own was that I would just miss something and go head over heels. Um, so the long cane has a roller on the end of it so it rolls from side to side giving me like a step in advance of what's in front of me so I can manoeuvre myself around it so I don't hurt myself. I have always been in the school choir for as long as I can remember and it's quite nice because my music becomes enlarged so I don't have to strain my eyes but I can still perform and nobody notices. I do photography which most people find bizarre at times when I say but somehow I just like taking photos and then most of the work I do to them is on a laptop so it's nice and big but it's just nice capturing like especially landscapes and different seasons and different lights. I recently completed my Gold Jig of Edinburgh and um, I'd 
previously done bronze and silver. The previous two had done walking, um, but I did my gold on a tandem with somebody in the front who was very experienced, and it was with another group of parsley sided people. Um, so when you bumped into things, you didn't feel as bad because everybody was experiencing the same things. Um, but it was still like hard because you had to cook for yourself and you had to make sure you had everything. That was a big issue. Like once you lift something out of your bag, you have to put it straight back into your bag so you don't set it down and lose it <laughs> on the ground and then cycle off and are miles away until you realise. When I think about the attitudes I've experienced so far, I can't think of many positive attitudes compared to many negative ones that I've had. The positive attitudes come from my friends and family who know me and who know what I can do, even though I have a visual impairment. Um, but most people in the general public have quite a negative attitude to visual impairment. Before the long cane, I had a symbol cane, and I got this because I bumped into a lady in a shop one day when I was with my mum, but I didn't see her, and she was quite rude, even though I was holding on to my mum's trolley, she was still quite rude to us, and I thought, right, okay, I need to do something to make her more aware that I have a vision impairment, so I got a symbol cane and when I used this particularly in the bus station after school and before school there was very rude and childish remarks made about it and I think it's a very hard thing to say but a lot of older people are very rude about it because they don't expect young people to have a visual impairment and they find it quite strange so then when they say something bad Younger people are then, well, like, we learned this from our parents, so this is what we're going to say now too. And I think that's a horrible thing that that has happened. And then when I used my long cane, it got a bit better, not as many people say stuff, because it's more of a thing that, oh, she's blind. But then there's still some people who think, oh, she's also deaf, so she can't hear us making these remarks at her, which is also very rude and annoying. Um, and I'd be quite quick to like let them know that I can hear them and then which isn't very good because then that makes me think that I'm rude as well sometimes. My vision once I got operations as a young child it improved greatly um, but since the workload has increased um, my eyes have deteriorated again and it's a strong possibility that I could wake up any morning and not have sight um, and that my eyes probably will never get better again, they'll just get worse. Next year is my year to go to uni um, and I'm hopefully going to do social policy um, and I'd like to do this just at Jordanstown because I couldn't move on to the Northern Ireland yet. I'm not that independent. Um, but this course focuses on real issues that, you know, face our society today. As a career, I find it very hard to pinpoint like one thing I'd like to do with it. Um, I'd like to give some time to organisations you know, that maybe don't have the knowledge that I might have at the end of my degree to give them some focus on what they could do differently to help people in Northern Ireland understand different issues and to change the attitudes. Uh, that I can work and volunteer so that you get access to employment so that you know, clarifying that we are. Actually, Mum, can you come here, please? Mm -hmm.